I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone. I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me thrown. Then my soul shall fear no will. When we have the Savior with us, then our soul will fear no will. Because we have a wonderful Savior, a wonderful friend, and a wonderful guide from day to day. And as I, we wish Betty a happy birthday. She has had long life and she's lived well for the Lord that we're serving today. And she has been an impact on many of our lives. And she has blessed many of us along the way. And I know that many other people will come to your mind that need today a special touch from Jesus Christ. We all have a long list of names that I will go down through a little later. But God knows your heart. He knows my heart. He knows the burdens that you bear. And from day to day, when we have the Savior with us, our heart, we have a wonderful friend that walks with us when we do that possible. We're going to sing verses 1 and 2 together, and then I will leave.
want to have that relationship with you. And Father, we thank you today that you are our comforter, you are our strength, you are our guide, you are the good shepherd. And Father, you lead us as the good shepherd would lead his sheep. And Father, we will not go astray if we keep our eyes focused on you. And Father, just now I pray that as we turn our eyes, Father, upon that cross and all that you have done for us, that indeed, dear God, that you would look upon us and that you would forgive us, dear God, if we went in paths of our own making in this week. And Father, that you would help us to live a life pleasing in your sight. And Father, we realize and know that there has been many people going through difficult times in this past week and months. And I pray, dear God, that you would bless them. And I would ask, Lord, that you would be unto them all that they need and help them to realize, dear God, that your grace is sufficient. And I pray, dear God, to just now for Merkel Hopkins, Father, for Florence Lachaine, for Scott Nolan, for Minnie and Bill Clark, for Teresa Murphy, for John Sparks, Sarah Durbel, Joyce Browder, Tanya Newhook, Frank Norris, and for the seniors in the homes, for the people, dear God, that has been caused to mourn, for the Matthew families and the Barnes family. Father, you know those people that I have just named. Every one of them is special to you. And Father, you know what they have been through. And I pray, dear God, just now, that you would lay your healing hand upon them. Father, you know uh, what is troubling many of them. You know that they need comfort. You know they need healing. But Father, we leave them in your will, knowing that all things will work together for good to those who love you. And I pray just now that they will realize and know that there's somebody bringing them before your throne. Father, we just want to thank you for the avenue of prayer. We want to thank you, dear God, to know that there is power in prayer. Father, we want to let, say just now that power, the power that's in prayer changes things and changes circumstances. And Father, we give you thanks for that. And I pray, dear God, and as we look to those in people's names, we brought them before you in faith believing that you're going to hear and that you're going to answer prayer. And Father, just now I pray for each one of us as we sit at your feet and listen. I pray that as your word is opened, that it will be words, dear God, that will speak volumes to each and every one of our hearts. And if there's one, dear God, that will listen, to this take ministry, or there's one in our congregation who do not know you in a personal way, that their hearts would be challenged, the strong walls of Satan would be broken down, and that you would give them the courage it takes, Lord, to come to your rock of cross and to ask for forgiveness. For I pray in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We're going to stand as we sing the last verse here, and I pray that that is your prayer today. I must have the Savior with me in the onward march of life, through the tempters and the sunshine, through the battles and the strife. And if any cross that could pen those words and could believe in her heart with faith, I'm sure that we can too this morning, and that we can sing from the depths of our heart. In the onward march of life, we need a Savior. We need Jesus Christ with us. Let's stand as we sing this together, please. Oh, my God. 